There are two things that are unforgivable for any American politicians. Releasing the aliens from Area 51 and insulting the troops. And last week, Biden's press secretary launched a gratuitous attack on the newest and bravest troops of all. White House Press Secretary Jem Psaki facing criticism for mocking the Space Force. They asked whether the president has made a decision on keeping or keeping the scope of Space Force. Wow, Space Force. It is an interesting question. Um, I am happy to check with our Space Force point of contact. I'm not sure who that is. I will find out and see if we have any update on that. Well, the top Republican on the House Armed Services Committee is now calling that comment disgraceful, and he's asking the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki to apologize. She's literally openly mocking a branch of military that was actually enacted by Congress with Democratic support. There's some arrogance there. There's a little condescension as well. A hundred years from now, the Space Force will be one of the important parts of our military. This is no joke. How dare you, Jen Psaki? Space Force is an illustrious branch of the military that was formed an entire year ago because Donald Trump had a weird sex dream about Elf. If you're gonna mock Space Force, maybe, maybe you should mock all the people who were cut in half when Neptune stole Saturn's rings and threw them at Earth. Oh wait, that never happened because Space Force saved us. Space Force is no joke, okay? This isn't funny. America's sending troops to space where they have to poop in a little bag. You think that's funny? And if the bag gets too full, the poop escapes, and they have to chase the floating poop around the spaceship. Does that sound funny to you guys? A bunch of guys in fancy uniforms floating around a room trying to grab a poop? And then their boss opens the door and he says, what's going on? Ah, and then the poop goes in his mouth. Is that a joke to you? You think any of this shit is funny, huh? Now, insulting the military is bad enough. But before the Space Force scandal had even died down, Joe Biden took things a step further, this time attacking the honor and decency of our heroes in law enforcement. There is some controversy over comments that the new president made about these, uh, about FBI agents as a generality. He made these comments and it's getting a lot of reaction, listen. By and large, the vast, vast majority of these men and women are uh, decent, honorable people. What should be taken away from that for him to say the vast, majority of men and women are decent, honorable people. Why suddenly the the qualifiers on, you know, the arbitration of who's a good guy and who's a bad guy? What percentage of people are we talking? Are 80% uh, good and decent people at the FBI? 90? Uh, can you be more specific? Yeah, Joe Biden, be more specific. Is it 99%? Or is there just one bad guy, huh? Is it Doug? It's totally Doug, isn't it? I knew it! You know he cheats on Margaret, right? Like, what have you heard? But this is just reprehensible. How dare you say that the vast, vast majority of FBI agents are honorable, when clearly it is the vast, vast, vast majority. I mean, if you cared about those agents at all, you would have thrown in a third vast. And I especially understand why this must have been a shock for the folks over at Fox News, to hear a president slander the brave members of the corrupt deep state like that. I mean... I just hope that decent, honorable scumbags like James Comey don't hear about this. (laughs) Now, look, it's not surprising that Joe Biden is bringing scandal to the White House. I mean, after all, his entire campaign was little more than just a front to launder money for his son, Hunter Biden. And just as everyone predicted, Hunter is already turning daddy's presidency into his own personal piggy bank. So Hunter Biden has a new book that is set to come out within his father's first 100 days. But critics are pointing out President Biden said his family wasn't going to do this. They weren't going to cash in on his presidency. Do you write a book for free? The real concern here, though, is Simon & Schuster is the the company that canceled Josh Hawley in his book, but they're doing the the book for Hunter Biden. And how will this book be used? Uh, Will... Uh, will it be a kind of test of loyalty to Joe Biden to buy the book? Will it be mass sales? Yes, my friends, welcome to Joe Biden's America, where if you want a COVID vaccine, you'll have to pass a pop quiz on Hunter Biden's book. What important lesson did Hunter Biden learn in chapter nine? Uh, to believe in himself? Wrong! Give him COVID!